Of course, though, we do start this morning with Christmas. Now just five days away, COVID concern and cases surging with fears that holiday travel is about to make things even worse. Yeah, the numbers speak for themselves. Let's check it out. Over the past week, the U.S. is averaging more than 133,000 cases per day. That's up from around 70,000 at the start of November. And that spike is leading to a number of schools and colleges to cancel in-person classes and move back to remote learning. The famed Christmas Spectacular over at Radio City now shut down for the season. Pro sports leagues being forced to postpone games. Then on Capitol Hill, three high-profile breakthrough cases. Senators Elizabeth Warren and Cory Booker and Congressman Jason Crow announcing they have all tested positive. And we're also seeing long lines for testing all over the country like these throughout the Northeast. Demand skyrocketing with people looking to travel Looking for peace of mind as well ahead of those family gatherings. We do have it all covered, including some hopeful news this morning on Moderna's booster as President Biden gets ready to address the nation tomorrow. But let's begin with NBC's Kathy Park. Hey, Kath, good morning. Hey, Hoda, good morning to you. Now more than ever, health officials are doubling down on the importance of getting vaccinated and boosted. And here in New York, it seems like we're going back in time with COVID cases climbing and COVID testing lines growing. Some people telling me they're waiting hours in line just to get a test. In fact, the woman right in the front of the line told me she got here two hours ago. But this morning, some promising news on Moderna's booster. This morning, Moderna saying its booster increases protection against the Omicron variant. The company releasing data showing that the current booster shot raises a level of those antibodies needed to fight Omicron by 37-fold compared to the regular two shots of the vaccine. Candidates with a higher dose saw an 83-fold increase in protection. Meanwhile, the company also looking ahead, hoping to advance an Omicron-specific vaccine into clinical trials by early next year. All this as health officials send dire new warnings. You're in for a world of trouble, I'm afraid, in the next month or two. It is just, you know, raging through, through the world, really. And with Christmas just days away and millions traveling, officials telling vaccinated Americans to get boosters, wear masks, and avoid crowded public spaces. I think people just need to be prudent. Clearly, when you travel, there is always a risk of increased infection. New York hitting new COVID records for three consecutive days with the growing number of breakthrough cases. On Broadway, nearly a third of shows canceling performances due to outbreaks. The Rockettes Christmas Spectacular going dark for the rest of the season. SNL scrapping much of its last show of the year with no live audience and no musical guest. Whoa. Where is everybody? Officials now reconsidering plans for a packed Times Square on New Year's Eve. Many other large-scale events grinding to a halt. The NBA calling off five upcoming games involving nine teams as a growing number of players and staff enter the league's COVID protocols. The NFL, NHL, and NCAA also announcing postponements. And a Royal Caribbean cruise returning to Miami after 48 guests and crew members tested positive. 98% were fully vaccinated, according to the cruise line. Health officials now worry a year-end spike could push some hospitals to the brink. In the beginning, we didn't have the staffing shortages that we're experiencing now. We're all getting close to a crisis situation. And tomorrow, President Biden is expected to deliver remarks on combating the worsening crisis. And we've also learned that three Democratic lawmakers have breakthrough infections. Hoda? All right, Kathy, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.